Okay, what else we got? We find a sample of the Karen's mucus in its lair. Hello. Hello. Hello, big fella. Drop down. Let's try and do... I'm trying to do one quest at a time, but we keep getting bombarded. Geralt, climb ladders faster. No, not... Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, the pain. The pain of clicking on the wrong ladder and then having to wait. Uh, I'm assuming things are better in The Witcher 3. On this ladder, this ladder, this tiny ladder, Geralt. We could have just hopped down, done a backflip even. All right, so I want to avoid anything else that happens in this town, but I doubt we can. Look, there, there, there is drama unfolding over here. Drama everywhere we go. <laughs> uh, all right, to go to this riverbed, we need to go... Through and north, we got to go through the town. We can't avoid it. Um, let's get into the middle of it. What's is it? What's drunk? No one else, Elvin bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. Commander Dorito will explain everything. You've no right. What's going on here? This whore's a Scoyatel spy. Any evidence? What's it to you? Easy. She loiters around the garrison kicking us. Roderick says he bound her, but I don't believe that. I <laughs> did! That's your evidence? Two of our lads are missing. Last seen with her. I only spoke to them. Then they went off towards the caves. That's all I know. The bitch is lying. She led them into an ambush. This ought to be easy enough to resolve. Look inside the caves. But they're crawling with all sorts of filth. Ah, I'll leave it to me then. But you'll pay me. Wait for me at the harbour. I think I do remember this one, Frosty. Bit of a challenge. Go to the cave believe beneath Flotsam. We are once again sidetracked. Ah. With more quests. Um. Let's do that one then. Uh, the Clothes of Madness? No, nope. that's the ghost story that Cedric told us about. Not that one. Oh, there it is. Uh, Melina. Okay. She's accused of being a Scoyatel spy. Which way? Compass? This way. Give it a crack. Melina, thank you, Frosty. Oh, it's on the opposite side of town. That's right. Some of these little shiny loots just here. And into town, past the sleeping guard. Galen, you forgot it's Monday. That it is. Happy Monday. Hope you're doing well. So we keep we keep getting bombarded with side quests. As much as I try to purposefully slow them down, <laughs> a lot of them are based on proximity. So when you walk into an area, they just happen. All right. Well, we've got a couple on the go. They've got the main story with the Karen, I think which is where Triss, Triss is just teleported to the riverbed where the Karen was, so we, we can't... She's going to be waiting a while. That's what you get for teleporting ahead, and we get sidetracked. Oh, okay, over here. Okay, let's save. Is this the first Witcher 2 stream? No, it's the second. Last Tuesday was our first one. Uh, and it looks more like Witcher 3. Wow, no, it's actually Witcher 2 with some mods on to make it look better and enhanced. But even without mods, it still looks pretty decent. Now, let's see. We'll wait to you. Make it quick. Okay. Investigate the cave where she supposedly led people. Oh, was there a... Here it is. Place of power. Yoink. Yoink and investigating time. A lot of blood, and I'm about to find out who it belonged to. Uh, Delan, I have not tried the new Witcher 3 yet, the remaster. Uh, Frosty is going to try it out, um, but apparently there's a lot of bugs with it. <laughs> so he's going to wait for some of that to be resolved. What I am interested to learn is they have included some of the popular community mods 
into the remaster itself. So I'm interested to, to read up on that. Um, but I won't be touching The Witcher 3 until we finish The Witcher 2. And I will be relying on news sources and community input as to when we think it might be ready for playing as well. So Delenn, you had the same thing from your partner? Yeah, fair enough. Oh, hello. We need Silver Sword. How many more will turn up? But neckers. All right, time to get some fighting on. Oh, oh look at the ball! Holy shit! Knock him back, Garrett. Knock him back. It's a button. All right, steady up, steady up. Couple at a time. Let's not get too gung ho. Lots of roly polies. You know what we need is we need a swallow potion active so we can have some more health regen. But all right. Should maybe try some igni. Oh, steady, steady. Fucking hell, this is ridiculous. Look at them all. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm guessing we can't climb up. Oh, no, we can't because we're in combat. Jesus. Oh, you know what we need? Quen. Keep forgetting we've got Quen. And we managed to lose them. That's nice. Where's the person who teleported? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Triss. Triss has teleported to a riverbed where we need to investigate some clues. And uh, she's going to be waiting there until we at least finish this quest. All right, a couple more. Oh, no. Oh, we got one shot. What was that? Oh, I didn't know that could happen. That was weird. Oh, our first death for this for this uh, stream session. We were doing so well. All right, maybe we meditate and put on a swallow potion or something. Prepared to die a lot, <laughs> but we're at half health. Yeah, well, they slapped us. We'll wait out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, can we? some meditation alchemy but uh potions have we got have swallow that is health g regen isn't it vitality will do and vigor is our mana effectively that sounds good just the one oh the neckers will do that yeah cheeky little bastards i didn't know that was a thing all right uh, so, Delenn, um, 720p is the maximum res on this stream. Um, I have thought about upping it to 1080, but because I am not a Twitch partner, if Twitch is busy with other streamers, it means everyone's forced to try and watch it at 1080, whether their internet can handle it or not. Um... So that's why I tend to go for 720. To find out who it belonged to. The um, the edited videos that I'll be posting to YouTube, they uh, will be in 4K. Swallow, Tawny, and Rook. Oh, what is? Because Tawny is um, mana regen, right? What is Rook? I don't remember that. Damage increase. Ooh, that sounds pretty nice. All right, let's try and not fight a million at once. Damn come here. Monsters. Yeah, come up here. Let's not go down there. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Yeah, rah, rah, rah. Yes, you're very scary. We're very impressed. All right, two down. Slowly, slowly. Here's another one. Very good. Oh, couple more coming. 
Come on. Here, boy. Now these warriors, these are the one, one of these one shot us before. Oh, good choppage. Oh shit, you're not dead. <laughs> now he is. Okay. Quick save. Yes. So Frosty, this is the cave you grind for levels on insane difficulty. Okay, staying in the archway provides some safety. Okay. That's what I was doing before. And then we stepped back out and got slapped. <laughs> Come here. Bring your face to my blade. Oh, he dodged. Oh, I got suckered down. Didn't step too far out. I feel like we're doing some old school Dragon Age Origins style of um, pulling fights. Ooh, ow. Those little ones go down quickly. All right, that's not too bad. Here's a warrior. Come here. Oh, come on. I dodged that. But he did a lot of damage. That's why we got one shot before. Good. All right. I don't see any more on our mini map. Oh, I can hear one. He must be up on the ledge. Oh, no. There he is. Too old for this, Geralt. What are you talking about? You're in your prime, sir. Shall we investigate this? <laughs> Tell you're glad we're not seeing that sword-waving thing in The Witcher 1. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everyone would wholeheartedly agree, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm glad to be done with that. This is diagram, leather, okay. Yep, diagrams are cool because that's how you can do crafting. You take it to a, like a blacksmith or something and they can make uh, new items for you based on the materials you collect. Loot any of that. Whoa! Okay. Destroy all the entrances to the Necker tunnels. Oh, that's right, because there's a contract on at the same time. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. We might get some efficiency. Okay. And we climb. Yes. Oh, shit. Rolly poly. Keep forgetting I have an Ard. Like that. Lap him with Ard. Uh, is autosave? Yes, there is autosave. There is also quick save, so I've been slapping in some quick saves as well. Yeah, you missed some of uh, <laughs> Geralt's flips and swirls from The Witcher 1. <laughs> More blood. Keep following the blood. Can we oh, examine more blood? That's what I just said, Geralt. Even more blood. There was also a ledge over there. Wonder how many more will turn up. Oh, that was weird. I'm assuming many more will turn up. Can we climb up here? Yes. Climb up any... Nope, it's just a shortcut through there. Okay, back this way then. Uh, so, Dolan, we're planning to stream during the holiday. Not really, no. So the plan is um, today and tomorrow for The Witcher 2. <laughs> and then that'll be it. So no streams at the end of this week because um, I've got to get ready 
I've got some work stuff on and then also I've got to actually get ready for going to travel interstate to visit Sparkle Source for Christmas. Um, and then next week uh, is Christmas and stuff and coming back towards the middle or end of the week. So we might get time to do like a uh, an anthem multiplayer next Friday. It depends. Um, so, but then the week after that, back in full swing. So early January is when we're going to be back to normal stream. Um, I will post more of this on the Discord notice board. I'll look to try and do that tomorrow or Wednesday, as well as on my profile on Twitch for anyone who's wanting to see where we're at. Um, the schedule in Twitch will be accurate as well. Scoyatel arrows. This is pretty clear. Pretty clear. So she did, in fact, lure people to be killed by Scoyatel. There you go. She's not so innocent after all. No worries, Delane. It's a good question to ask because I need to make sure I uh, tell people this. <laughs> we want people to know when we're streaming and when we're not. Oh, what does this lead to? I uh, might not be around to watch. That's okay. Oh, you're due this week. Really? Baby Delen. Baby Delen Summer comes along. Oh, that's locked. Can't get up there. Okay. That's for another quest at another time, maybe. Oh, well, pre congrats. Delen, you must be very large right now, ready to explode. <laughs> Please keep us up to date and informed on Discord. We would love to hear the progress. So itchy knees, did the minions shoot the arrows in the back? Yes, so it would, well, it appears that uh, Marlena has been luring some of the guard down here. Scoyatel arrows have shot them, but where are the Scoyatel? We don't know. And now we got to make our way back out the front, it would seem, because I can't go up through those stairs. Hmm. <laughs> so you're going to put the videos up uh, of uh, the stream so you got something to watch in labor? Perfect. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and give you something interesting. <laughs> oh, we got a mutagen. Oh, I hear some snarling. Oh, now we can loot these. Why couldn't I loot these before? There is another one. So I'm guessing perhaps these things keep infinitely spawning. I can't loot these ones yet. Oh, means. Anyway, um, battles and investigation complete from in here. Where was the way up? It was up this way, wasn't it? Yes, up here. All right. Swords away. And save. You can see our stability's improved. We haven't had any crashes tonight. Now watch as I have our first crash. <laughs> uh, now we've learnt. We should have some decent stability from here on out. All right. Find anything in there? Two soldiers. What happened to them? <laughs> They're dead, riddled with arrows. I know nothing about that. What do you think, Witcher? Seems like two soldiers wandered into the cave, maybe to drive away monsters, but just because somebody convinced them to go. I don't know how many monsters they managed to kill, but I do know who got them. Scoyatel. Bollocks. Last I recall, Neckers don't know how to use bows. Hey, lads! Let's find a tree! No! I'll tell you everything! Right. Speak. You need to see this. You won't understand otherwise. See plowing what? The bitch is lying. <laughs> this sounds like an ambush as well. This is definitely a trap. Do we do we go into the trap or do we just say we don't believe her? Frosty, your phone's going flat. All good. Uh, no worries. Thank you for helping out and coming along so far. But before you go, before you drop out, do we want to lead on 
and follow her to what I think is going to be a trap. Uh, spring it for some loot. Okay, spring the trap. Let's do it. We'll see. You lead. We do like some loot and XP. Actually, speaking of XP, I have more talent points to spend. And oils. And ta-da! We've unlocked the one alchemy talent that you recommended, Frosty. Just need to put one more into it to upgrade it further. All right, let's see where this goes. Oh, so you buffoons are coming? Yes, you are coming, okay. Back down this road we came in on. Oh. Oh. Big Vito has arrived, just in time for what I think is an ambush. Yep, there it is. We are forced to fight elves. I don't want to be fighting you guys, but you keep being bad dudes. We sided with the Scoia'tael in Witcher 1 as well. Rude. So rude. Oh, look, I can't get there. Bloody squirrels. Here we Thanks go. for the help, Witcher. Here's your orange. You're coming with us, bitch. You shouldn't have left Dimitri. Stupid whore. Death awaits you all. Curse you, Dwan. A lot of hatred between the elves and humans. Dwan being a, um, uh, what is it, a colloquial term for human from the elves? Uh, I believe it's a derogatory word. Anyway. Ah, oh, quest complete. Okay, so uh, the question is now, do we... Vito, this time I was lucky not to take a fireball to the face, but give it time. It'll definitely help happen at some stage. Um, so the question is, do we go to meet up with Triss yet? I think that's a that has some plot points that unfold, does it? Or am I getting some of the stuff mixed up? So I'm thinking of not doing the stuff with Triss yet. Let's tackle um, another side quest, like the troll. Itchy Knees, you're dropping up, no worries. Thanks for tuning in, um, Itchy. Have a good one. Always love it when you come along. Let's grab a bit of that. All right, let's choose our quest. I'm thinking, oh, there's the ghost stories. There's the ghost ruin the ruined hospital um, that Cedric told us about. Why don't we do that? That's fresher in our minds. Which way? Down south, where are we? We need to go straight through town and out the other side. So this way, okay. Stacking and restacking this stuff. If the port How's our inventory levels? Oh, it's getting a little bit full. Not too bad yet. Actually, what are we using for steel? A oh, plain steel snow. Put the. Why are we not wearing our good steel sword? No wonder it took me longer to fight those guys. Wale. <laughs> Although this one's not bad. This might have been what we're using. The Mahakaman Maha Rune Sigil. Chance of instant kill, 2%. What does this one do? 9 to 13, 10 to 12. All right, that one is probably better. Sorry, I think we did have a decent one equipped. After all. Oh, and apparently I'm not wearing any gauntlets. That's also very silly. I will sort through a lot of our loot in between streams. And now let's move on up. Does he tend to lose them? Was he eating my little red riding hood? <laughs> no, we did not eat little red riding hood. <laughs> okay, so find the ruined hospital. This is what Cedric was telling us about. There is 
in local haunted ruins where two adventurers have gone in and never been seen since. <laughs> oh shit! We got some Madrigas to fight on our way. Shit, you stink. Ow. Very good. And an Adrigal warrior. That's better. Chop him. Very good. Well, that'll help us slowly achieve what we need to for the, um... Yeah, can we equip that trophy? We have a trophy slot. Yes, we can. Piece of Adriga slapped straight onto our belt. Yummy. Ooh, place of... Oh, we got a trap to pick up. Yoink. Oh, and there's another one. Shit. Need to pay attention. I did hear it. There we go. How do I... Oh, hang on. Do I hold shift to walk? There we go. That's how I need to do it. <laughs> like, how do I walk slowly? This is also a toughish quest. Yeah, I think I actually kind of remember it. Um, but I think we can do it, and it'll be an interesting thing to work through. Ah. And a good way to finish off the session, I reckon. We've had a lot of dialogue earlier, so let's get a bit of action in for everyone. Okay. There's still something nearby. Our medallion is vibrating. Oh no, it stopped. Place of power? Yes, thank you very much. Keep going north. Navigating through the forest. Follow it around to the right up the hill there. Yes. Go left and then curves around to the right. Checking for nasties. Oh, that's the wrong button. How many oh, more can there be? Well, there's gonna be a bunch, Geralt. Oh yes, good hit. Oh, steady, steady, steady. We are poisoned. Poison cloud hurting us. Oh. And that one despawned. That's very weird. And that one despawned. Awesome. And now we've got Neckers fighting Adrigas as well. <laughs> I will let them do their own silly battles. Are we going to see some Witcher 3 places here? I don't know. That's a question for Frosty. Will we see any F Witcher 3 places or references? We do have some characters, at least. Some returning characters. What was that? What the hell are you? Necker warrior. Get out of here. Boom! In the face! Good hit. Geralt, good hit. Oh, hello. Some help, finally. I thought I was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. Oh, here we are. Cedric told me that two people went missing near the burnt mansion. I'm Rupert Brandhuber. I'm a medic from Edda, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb picking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire. No sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us! All right, what have we got? Defeat the Neckers and enter the ruins. We can do that. Oh, Rolly Polly! Oh, good spinny twirls there, Geralt. Okay, he's down. Doggo is barking. Heard my... There it is. 
So I heard my medallion mentioning. That doesn't sound good. Poor doggo. Where's the doggo? Any doggo? Oh. Doggo dead. You bastards! No, dogger. All right, can we? What we might want to do is load up another swallow potion because we will be fighting stuff. Maybe another swallow, yep. Okay, that'll do, donkey. That'll do. 10, 11 minutes of that. That sounds good. Into the burned down hospital. They should not have done it. Rather than those here they were. Oh, the greed. That is a very angry ghosty. Okay. Too bad there isn't a Henry Cavill mod. Oh, I think there is though, Vito. I think there is a Henry Cavill mod. I don't know if there... Oh, was there one for The Witcher 2? There is for The Witcher 3. Probably is one for Witcher 2. Find the spectre in the next room. Take all hospital files and hospital records. Okay, um, hospital files. Medical record of patient number 71. The patient has contracted dysentery. Oh, gross. That's like hardcore deathly diarrhea. <laughs> there is no hope for him now. I had him isolated and ordered that prayers be said for him. I also increased the dosages of his herbs. They seem to have some healing properties, but incidentally also loosen tongues. So they're trying to get information? Action not allowed on this item. So the records we can't read, but we can, we have it. Okay. Uh, defeat the wraiths and search the, tr well, I've searched the chest already. Let's try and one at a time. Oh, shit. What we need is we can, where's Axie? We can maybe... No, that's the... I'm pushing the wrong button. Come on, Axie's ass. Right, we're going to die. So let's just load up and try that again. With some Quen and some Axie. The Axie is where... It's good in conversations for convincing people and persuading people. Um, but in combat, it can mind control stuff briefly. But it takes time to charge up. It can be difficult... To get it to land. Do we need to switch swords in this? Um, most of the time we're going to be using the same sword because we'll either be fighting monsters or humans, rarely mixing it up. I mean, silver swords can still do some damage to humans, and um, you know, steel swords can do some damage to monsters, but. Okay, so we have to activate the chest. It upset the, uh... That's not the right... Not what we wanted. We want a Axie. And maybe let's do a Quen. Can we do... You go away. Hang on, roly poly, roly poly, come on. No, we can't. No, we can't charge. We can't pers um Fucking hell, they're tough. Oh. Oh wow, that hurt a lot. <laughs> Holy shit did that hurt. Maybe I've chosen poorly. In the quests we shall undertake. 
I need another Quen. There we go. Come on. There we go. And maybe we need some, like, Necrophage oil or what is that? Spectre. Some oil that hurts spirits and undead. Although, now we're doing a bit better. <laughs> All right, Wraith's down. Holy crap. Oh, there's a crazy guy banging his head against the wall. Search the hospital, find Gridley. Um, we want to do oils. That's also under meditation, isn't it? Yes. Let's have a quick look here. Potions, alchemy. Oh, no. Do we just activate them from our inventory? Bombs. So have I got any bombs? I do have a bomb. We should use them from time to time. Uh, potions. Trophies. Lures. Junk. I thought we had oils and stuff. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong spot. That's a question for Frosty, whose phone may have gone flat. So maybe we'll save those for another day. We've got some bombs we can eat anyway. Who's this? Are you... No, you're not real. Okay. Well, that's super creepy. Oh, cutscene. They needn't have done it. Those here were innocents. And I... So the angry ghost is saying that there were innocent people here and they were tortured and interrogated. I think he's implying. I'm not about to play the fire. Yep, I'll just go around the phone. So some bad shit definitely happened here. And um, Cedric mentioned that the place caught fire during one of the civil wars or the war with Nilfgaard. And then everyone in here perished in the fire. All right. Jump down. Feel like we're going to be fighting stuff. Yep. Wonder how many more will turn out. Oh, it's, in. it's creeping towards me. Just keep on the assault and dodge the other one. Stay away. Oh, that worked all right. Go, Geralt. Go, you good thing. Slap him. Yes. Stone. Is it mine? No matter. Clean it. Hospital Files 1. So let's read that. Uh, books and shit. Because we read Hospital Files 3. This is where there was patient 71 and uh, suffering from dysentery and given herbs to make him talk and before he dies. Um, patient 14. The woman manifests strong symptoms of schizophrenia. To avoid marrying her, oh, to avoid marring her beauty, I decided not to employ the standard therapy, the red hot circlet, but instead to increase her herb dosages. As she was prone to having fits of aggression, I've had the patient chained. The pictures she has painted on the walls should be analyzed. So sounds like a genuine crazy, although might be just being treated harshly and developing craziness. How is this creepy place a hospital? Yeah, well, it was before it was burnt down in the war. The war with Nilfgaard. The Great War. The war that is effectively yet to come in the TV series, but it will. Help! Give me some medicine! I'm in pain! I beg you! Help! Give me some medicine! Uh, ghosts want medicine, yep. Ooh, there's a pretty picture. They deserve to suffer! Help! Who does? Who does, special ghosty man? I'm in pain. I beg you. Help. Give me some medicine. Oh, hang on. Can we knock this down? What have we got in here? I'm in pain. Armor and some gold. All right. Weird that it was sealed behind there, but we'll take it. 
Keep following the ghosty further in. Another weird ass painting. Blood, don't know. Hmm. Go away! Oh, so creepy. Go away! <laughs> Go away! Oh, the. Here made quite an impression, even on those who are mad. The stuff happened here. So I'm guessing that the insane asylum did have some insane and mentally ill people, but then they turned it into more severe location to interrogate people. And those already here were caught up in it, perhaps. Not good either way. Oh, hang on. Medallion says something. Is that it? Circle of Endurance. Cool. Place of power. All right, so is this the other guy we've been looking for? Lee, Lee, leave me be! Away with you! Control yourself. It's not my fault. It wasn't me, not me. What's not your fault? Fire. Fire everywhere. It wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want that, I swear. Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine, a sedative. Oh. Search the ruined hospitals for hospital for tranquilizers for Gridley. Okay. Well, I have been searching pretty thoroughly. Don't really get any indicators on where to go. Maybe. Ah. Convenient. There we go. Medication for Gridley. Yoink. Oh, and a wraith. Shit. Yoink. Is that it? Let me loot. Hospital files 2. What's the next file say? Uh, 2. Medical record of patient number 19. The eldest of our residents. This patient has been with us longer than any other. Old water therapy has failed in his case, and there seems to be no promise of improvement. I've had him chained and reduced his food rations to weaken the strength of the illness and limit his self-destructive tendencies. I've begun to employ herbs. They love their herbs. They love drugging them. Oh, and there's another. Get the sword out, Geralt. Death monsters. Damn monsters, right. Lucky we can chain some combos together. Is that it? Mutagen. And a Wraith Trophy. What's the Wraith Trophy look like? Does... Ooh, more damage. Yes, I like doing damage. Go away! Go away! Tell me what to do, ghosty! What's going on? Where am I? Easy. Rupert asked me to find you. Rupert lives. Listen, you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes. Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story? There's always a story, Gridley. <laughs> it out. There's always a story. Where former soldiers fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilf guardian. He was desperate to win his freedom and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Edda. We couldn't believe our fortune, thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. By torturing him? Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb. If you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. 
the commander interrogated the prisoner, drawing a map in the process, and we celebrated, talked of how we would divide the treasure, and took ever greater liberties with the patients. Liberties? The priest looking after them began to protest, and one of our boys split his head open. Nice, Gridley. Keep <laughs> talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before. When they smelled blood, well, we could not control them. Price. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke out. Any of the patients survive? A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet, and willing. Two nights later, she slit our commander's throat, and that was all we saw of her. And Good on her. Of course. The war was ongoing, and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then, and Rupert's had it even worse. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once. Perhaps by some strange chance, it still holds us in favor. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here. And it looks like we need to start by finding that Nilfgaardian's corpse. No way! Right! So, ooh, here he is. That's his ghostly visage. The Nilfgaard that they captured. The Nilfgaardian they captured and tortured and Leave killed. Me. Leave me be! Away with you! And he has run away. Go away! The creepy paintings. Alright. So, bad soldiers did bad things. They were unnecessary. Accidentally or intentionally started a fire that killed almost everyone. And this ghost has a vengeance. A wolf leading wolves. What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return when none remain. Yet one shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Hmm. So I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Is that your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way or another. Okay. Can we talk anymore? They deserve to suffer. He is super angry, and here's his corpse here, apparently. That's on fire, all right. Hospital Files 4. Index to the medical record of patient 14. The patient's drawings seem to confirm the diagnosis of schizophrenia. The cruelty prevalent in them undoubtedly stems from, trial, from childhood events. A strong trauma, to be confirmed, coupled, <laughs> coupled with a dominating mother, have warped this poor creature's mind. The patient will receive treatment. I have decided to increase the dosage of her herb mixture. In addition to its healing properties, the concoction seems to force patients to reveal the truth about themselves. And the truth frees us. But that's still from the days before the soldiers settled in. And nothing else down here. Go away! All right, we're going to take Ridley, take Gridley with a G, I keep forgetting G, to Rupert. It's creeping towards me. Past all the all creepy ghosts. Come on, Gridley. And? I met the Nilfgaardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade. Back out to the front. Gridley, you live. What happened down there? I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. You're the Witcher. Get rid of it. Ooh. Are we telling the ghost once you're dead, or do we lure them down? I'm 
in favor of luring them down. Whilst they are not the only bad guys, they are bad guys that were here. Not quite the right kind of poetic justice, but at least a little bit of justice for the poor soul. I already have. Come on, let me show you something. <laughs> like, hmm? All right, let's go. Who do I see? Remember me, corpse man. <laughs> Faces. Remember how I was torn apart bit by bit. Remember what you did with the people of this house. You deceived us! Crimes require punishment, and only retribution can lift the curse. I leave them to you. I need you no more. Let the feast begin, boys! And the fire comes down around them. Quest complete. Curse is lifted. And... They are dead. Super dead. Oh, and we can climb the ladder. Let's have a look up here. Curse required retribution. We granted it. No loot here, I'm assuming. Nothing's orange. Did you miss much? Oh, Elvin, you just missed the end of the uh, the little cursed quest here. I reckon rewind a few minutes and uh, take a look. It is interesting. Oh, that's how we get back up too. All right. Um, that's got this quest complete. Let's get out of these ruins. That's a dead end. Use the map more. Uh, it is left. So this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, the bird's off. Excellent. Oh, the poor dead doggo as well. That's very sad. Um, now, next question is, I think there's quick saving, isn't there? Sorry, quick fast travel. Is there fast travel? No. No, no fast travel. That's okay. Um, but that is the end of tonight's session. We have sort of finished right on time. Tidied up that quest nicely, I think. Um, so next up for us, in tomorrow night's session, we're going to try and uh, finish a couple of side quests. Um, the, these other contracts, I think I haven't got much more to do on them, so we'll probably finish them off. Um, we've got Troll Trouble. We need to investigate the Karen. We need to talk to Laredo, the local, um, the local man in charge who seems a little bit dodgy. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what happens next. It should be a fun little adventure. Dylan, the game does seem fun. I agree. And I, I think all the storytelling is richer. So we all know we've done a lot of Oblivion this year with the open world games. Um, this is sort of semi-open world, but very directed in what we do. I think the characters and stories are pretty good. Um, I know that there's some interesting story elements that we get to do with Triss. Um, in the next part of the storyline here. So that's going to be fun. You're going to want to see that. Um, but once we've finished this area, that's when I don't know what's coming. But for now, I know a little bit more of what's to happen. Um, we might even be able to fit most of it in tomorrow night's session. We'll see how we go. Um, in the meantime, I'll try and get an opportunity to just do some inventory cleanup and see what we can sort out there. Um, but that all uh, is looking quite promising. And I didn't fail too much tonight. Only a couple of deaths... And no game crashes, so win. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much, everyone, who's come along. Um, for those who are unaware, we do have an awesome Discord. Jump on that. Links are in the chat. They're also in the description below. They're also on my Twitch profile. Um, great uh, great community happening there. Absolute legends. Um, so, yeah, that's probably pretty much it. Big shout out and thank you to our Patreon sponsors, which includes Big Vito, Delenn, and Frosty, who have been on the chat tonight. So, so thank you guys for hanging out with us. And Vito, I hope you're feeling better because you've been off sick with COVID recently. So I'm assuming you've started to bounce back. You seem somewhat jovial, <laughs> um, but hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming along, everyone, tonight. Uh, this has been Nerdiness, I've been Shady, you've all been awesome, and let's see what happens tomorrow night, and go from there.